Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Screen Cinema. Here are seven insane action movies dropping in 2021. Number seven, Eternals. In the wake of the massive Infinity Saga and its conclusion in Avengers Endgame, the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it is about to undergo some major changes. Yes, familiar characters will remain, but they won't be alone for long. New heroes are on the horizon, including the first all-new superhero team in the MCU since the Guardians of the Galaxy debuted in 2014. Get ready for the Eternals! Based on the Marvel Comics team of the same name created by Jack Kirby, Eternals will follow a near-immortal race of beings who have secretly lived on Earth for thousands of years. Following some kind of unexpected tragedy in the wake of Endgame, they will be forced out of hiding and back into the Ada's long battle against the ancient enemy known as the Deviants. The film boasts a star pack cast including Angelina Jolie, Selma Hayek, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani, Brian Tyree Henry, Jimma Chan, and more. Not only are we getting a new team, but we're getting the most diverse cast of superhero characters in the MCU to date, including their first openly gay superhero and first deaf character. Though it was originally scheduled to arrive in the fall of 2020, the coronavirus pandemic has shifted Marvel's entire release schedule, and Eternals will now end on February 12th, 2021. For them, and keep you up to date. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superheroes. Are Number 6, Morbius. While Spider-Man has spent the last few years hanging out with the Avengers over in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the film rights to all the web singers supporting characters remain at Sony Pictures, who have been hard at work on their own shared universe of Spidey-adjacent heroes and villains. After Venom became a box office hit in 2018, that effort was stepped up, and in the spring of 2021, we'll see the next chapter with Morbius. Jared Leto stars as Michael Morbius, the first live-action version of The Living Vampire from the pages of Marvel Comics. As he searches for a cure for a rare blood disease that could kill him, Morbius accidentally alters his own biological makeup and gives himself a kind of vampirism, which also grants him superhuman abilities. The first trailer for the film leaned heavily into the darker aspects of the Morbius story, but also teased that Michael Keaton will be making some kind of appearance as Adrian Toomes, his character from Spider-Man Homecoming. Broken. Until the Number 5, Spiral from the Book of Saw. The Saw franchise has proven to be one of the most enduring horror series of the 21st century, in part because its creators just keep coming up with new and inventive ways to kill people. Still, even the standards of the era need a refresher from time to time, and that's apparently what we're going to get with Spiral. While the film will feature returning franchise talent like frequent Saw sequel director Darren Lynn Boozman, Spiral is noteworthy in no small part because it features legendary comedian Chris Rock sipping into the horror genre as both star and producer to tell a story about a brash detective and a veteran police sergeant who gets wrapped up in a series of murders. Though it's certainly being billed as a departure from other installments, we also shouldn't see Spiral as a reboot. It's a new story, set in the same continuity as the original films that hopes to reinvigorate the series of fresh talent. Number 4, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. We have heard rumbling for some time of Marvel Studios' plans to launch a film starring its first ever Asian superhero, and at San Diego Comic-Con 2019 we got confirmation. On May 7, 2021, we'll see Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, a superhero epic with a kung fu edge. Chinese-Canadian actor Simu Liu has landed the title role of Marvel's Master of Kung Fu in the film, which will also star Aquafina, Ocean's 8, in a still undisclosed role. Perhaps the biggest surprise regarding this announcement came when it was time to reveal the villain. Back in Iron Man 3, Marvel Studios seemed to introduce classic comic villain the Mandarin, only to then reveal the Mandarin of that film was an actor playing a role as part of a distraction for the real villain of the piece. As long as it's been hinted in the MCU, the real Mandarin is out there, waiting for his day, and apparently, his time has finally come. The Mandarin will make his genuine MCU debut in this film and will be played by legendary Chinese actor Tony Leung. Young. Life's not fair. Number 3, Fast and Furious 9. The ninth film in the Fast and Furious series was never supposed to be something we had to wait until 2021 to see, but growing concern over the spread of the coronavirus on March 2020 led Universal Pictures to move the film's release date back uh, nearly a year. Now, instead of seeing Dominic Toretto and crew facing off against a dangerous new Toretto brother, John Cena, in May of 2020, we'll have to wait till around April 2nd of 2021 to see the adventure unfold. The news came after F9 had already had the promotional red carpet rolled out in the form of a heavily teased first trailer that revealed the long-awaited return of Han, Sung Kang, to the Furious Fold. It was a lot to look forward to, now we just know we'll have to wait a little longer. Number 2, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Ghostbusters Afterlife will be set in the present day and follow a family played by Carrie Coon, Finn Wolfhard, and McKenna Grace, who move to rural Oklahoma after inheriting some land from the kid's mysterious grandfather who turns out to be Egon Spingler, one of the original Ghostbusters who has since passed on. 
in a world where few people remember the original team and their exploits are about to find that ghosts are still very much a part of the universe. Ghostbusters Afterlife was originally set to hit theaters in the summer of 2020, but due to the coronavirus pandemic, the film is now set to arrive March 5th, 2021. Call it luck. Call it karma. Number 1. Venom. Let there be carnage. Venom, Sony Pictures feature film based on the Spider-Man related anti-hero of the same name, became one of the biggest comic book movie hits of 2018, even without any overt Spider-Man connections within the film itself. The film did so well that Sony quickly greenlit a sequel, and eventually motion capture legend Andy Serix stepped up to direct it. In the summer of 2021, we finally get to see what kind of comic book chaos circus and company have been cooking up. As promised by the post credit scene in the first film, the second Venom movie will indeed focus more on the madman known as Cletus Cassidy, who becomes the supervillain known as Carnage in the comics. Tom Hardy will return as Eddie Brock, and Woody Harrelson will get to expand his work as the red-headed Cassidy. In April of 2020, the film was also given a very appropriate title, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.